Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Why, hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All Old Bag 2. This time it's personal. I just realized the logo for Ace Attorney Justice for All looks like the smash ball turned sideways. Up on the left. You mean, like, the star thing? Yeah, the weird star thing. A little bit, I guess. Anyhow, like the name implies, we're still cross-examining the old lady. Anyhow, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. That on guard is one evil, evil man. You can't say something like that without proof. That's just slander. But it's true. That woman was getting intimate with Paul Juan. Look, it says so right here, doesn't it? Manager to the stars, Miss A.A. But the name of the magazine this came from is Gossip Land. What? Are you saying that gossip is all just a pack of lies? Huh, what do you know? I suppose next you'll swear to me that news is 100% true! Oh wow, this is just having so much relevance to modern times, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> um... Honestly, Sonny, you can't discriminate between the news and gossip! Yes, discrimination is bad, Mr. Wright. Discriminate? When did I do anything like that? Anyway, On Guard will never give me to say touche! He thought he could ruin poor Juan by causing a huge scandal. Not just a little one, a huge one. A scandal? What do you mean by that? You're a dim-witted one, aren't you? I can't believe you don't know what a scandal is. Honestly, what are they teaching kids in middle school these days? Uh, no, no, I wasn't asking what the word scandal means. Even I know that much. Well, that on guard thought he could own a monopoly on the popularity. I guess that can make sense. <laughs> He, he did seem a little full of himself, admittedly. A little bit, but he also seemed completely controlled by his, his manager. upper yeah. manager. And that's actually how most pop stars are. Like, most I of can't their, do that without my manager's of, permission. Yeah, yeah, most of their life and most of the big decisions they make for um, their popularity, how they represent themselves, etc., are made by the higher-ups. Recent number, why, like, five which million, why, why I don't want to be famous. To be famous, because sometimes, like, your upper managers, if you have, like, bad people, they'll be like, hey, we want you to have this big thing happen, because, like, it'll gain publicity, even if it's bad for the individual. It's, ugh, it's, it's terrible. just bad. You don't have any proof that Mr. Ongard did any such thing. You must be suffering from shock. The shock of hearing the truth. And now, since you're in so much shock, you can't do anything right! You're right, I can't do anything, but boy do I wish I could do something about you. Alright then, Sonny, show me what you got. Can you show me proof that Ongar didn't bear any ill will towards Juan? Now I think I know why Von Karma got hit in the shoulder, because she would have been whipping her every second. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. Um, present evidence or decline the offer to present? Can you proof didn't bear any ill will? I mean, we already know that they... Kind of, they they do. So, present evidence, why not? We'll give it a shot. I'm not going to let you push me around that easily. Heh, <sighs> there's many a man who said those exact words and paid dearly for them. Maybe you should brace yourself this time. Here is my proof that Mr. Ongar did not hold any ill will towards the victim. Wait, I thought it was that he did. Oh, <laughs> never mind, that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> at least it's the smallest penalty. That's true. Show me Tony's badge. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Can you actually present something here? That, like, would work? I don't know. Because, like, Ill my, my thought... I don't think you have to do this. My thought was, because he just won the Grand Prix, he wouldn't... Yeah, that's true. Anything. That's true. But I don't know how you could present it. Yeah, that's true. There's no, like, I would probably do, I guess, thing. press conference ticket, maybe? Is that it? You can take it from here, Edgy Poo. Eh? Yeah? Well, what are you handing it over to me for? I want you to give that jagged headed baboon boy a message for me, please! Tell him that no matter what he does, the only thing he's good at is failing. Um, what she said right. Or should I say, baboon boy? <laughs> yes, I agree, this isn't much of a piece of evidence, baboon boy. 
Man, that was a really small penalty considering <laughs> all of the insults they gave us. Did I just gain a new nickname here? And you are lecturing me about saying things about proof. You've just given me a free pass to say whatever I want, whatever I want, silly boy. Great. Me and my big mouth. That's the way the cookie crumbles. For you, anyway. I don't have anything to offer. See? Just as I thought. Oh, and now it goes back to it. Whoops. It's bound to happen. Okay. <laughs> That's the way the cookie crumbles for you, baboon boy. Uh, okay. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. So, what do you mean by I took action? Like I already told you, I was not even way close to the crime scene. Once that slimy woman came out of Juan's room, I was going to capture her and teach her a good lesson. Something you youngins need. You were going to teach her a good lesson? I was going to make her eat the damaging beams of my ray gun. Like this! N no stop! Well, it was too bad that woman didn't come through the door that night. Given how bad I feel for Adrienne Andrews and, like, her yeah, self-deprecation, yeah. I'm glad that didn't happen to her. No, this is top secret. Nobody else knows about it. Sure, sure. Wait. What? I'm a busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. Secret information that no one else knows yet? If that's true, then how do you know this secret information? Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yes, that's it. Uh, it's a secret! Even if you drill a hole into my brain, you'll never find out! How in the world did that old bat get such a secret piece of information? Press fervor, present evidence, wait and see. Well, we can't really present evidence, and waiting and seeing would be nothing. So we need to press. If you don't be a good girl and tell me where you got this secret- Okay, that That's... first line is already not going no, to end well for you. No, not end well for <laughs> And you don't tell me where you got the secret information, you won't get to go home today! Um... Edgy boy, what are you doing? Help me! Eh? What do I have to do with this? Just do this for me! You'll get your reward! Oof, I don't want your reward, but you don't leave me much of a choice. The witness could have gotten her information from anywhere. It's even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. And he lectures me on reckless bad luck bribery? As long as we don't know where this information came from, it's quite a waste of time to focus on this line of questioning. Where did Old Bag get her inside information? There has to be something I can use to figure it out. Sounds like a, just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't just ignore it either. It makes your client look bad either way. Well, I don't think I heard anything really out of the ordinary just now. There has to be something we can catch her on. Yeah, and when I find it, I'm going to press the heck out of it. Alright. I should probably think a bit more about this. I don't want to do anything rash. For now, maybe I should just sit back and watch how things play out. Alright. Well, I guess we do have Yeah, we do. So no one else is supposed to know this secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know about it, Miss Oldbag? What, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop that! Witness! I'm sad to say it, but this is how you found out this secret, isn't it? Is it just the... The, um... It's not the, it's it's not not the newspaper. Well, I mean... How we can... you found out the secret. Otherwise... Uh... Oh, here, let's try it. You call that proof? It looks more like proof of spite towards the witness. If you have nothing to back up your claims, then they are no more valid than gossip. Objection sustained. Witness, please feel free to ignore the defense's gesture of ill will and continue. Okie dokie! See? Nothing can get me down. Great. That did nothing but set me back a few minutes of my life. <laughs> Whoa, whoops. <laughs> I went back way too far there. Okay. I forgot to make a safe state. So we have to wait through everything again. Yeah, because if you unfortunately if you reload old safe states, it doesn't save that you actually went, went through the through dialogue. It. I guess that makes sense. Alright. There you go. Um 
Maybe she has Lada's camera. You think so? Yeah, she because she was writing the stuff that she thought about it. Hey! The investigative photographer, Lada Hart. Oh yes, I remember that mischievous girl. She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing. On that piece of paper, she had written down some of her outrageous er, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? What? Outrageous ideas, you say? No, no, no. I said impressions. Then, then, then everything written on this piece of paper is completely meaningless. Ah, that's it. That's the note. Ah. Ah! No! You see, this is something completely different! This is my top secret list of groceries to buy! <laughs> what are you top secret buying at the store? She's like, I need to get my old lady pills! And vitamins! <laughs> and Cookies. JoJo's! <laughs> JoJo's! Knock off brand Knock Oreos. Oreos. Hmm. Get the double stuff version of those. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> hmm. Then again, I don't really like double stuff Oreos. It's I like too double much stuff Oreos, but okay, I like all of the holiday brand Oreos yeah, because okay. it's 1.5. The seasonal brand Oreos, like Halloween Oreos, winter Oreos, kind of spring Oreos. Red Oreos. That those are the winter ones. Oh, yeah. Those um, are all like 1.5 stuff, and that's perfect. Yeah, it's a really good amount. Because the regular Oreos don't have enough, and double stuff have way too much. And Finn's like, why are you even eating Oreos? Yeah. Just like, don't eat. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I love how we're talking about Oreos while this intense like pursuit music is. <laughs> Oreos! They're very important! Hmm, then you are the one who took Miss Hart's note? I'm a huge fan of wands, that's why! That infamous puffy-haired whippersnapper! She's working with that evil on guard! She said so herself! On guard! I'm his sidekick! She was so happy, smiling like a silly duck! I was only checking what she had written! You believe me, don't you? Yeah. I was only trying to help out like the angel I am. Uh -huh. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. Oh, right, because you didn't take her entire camera? <laughs> you really should come up with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. <laughs> that is a great combat. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Well, it was only a piece of paper. I suppose we can overlook just this. No! Piece. We can't overlook <laughs> this judge! <laughs> she looks like she's really sorry. Should I forgive her? No! Pile on more pressure or forgive her. Okay, I mean, in real life, forgive people, okay? That's good to do. But we Here's can't just a, let it go. We can't let go of a $1,600 camera! Yeah. Pile her! I guess we should forgive her. Hmm. Who the heck are you to decide who I should be forgiven, you delinquent? Ugh. Number of endearing qualities, zero. Phoenix, you can't go easy on her. She's no frail old lady. Yeah. Yeah. You should be pressing her until she gives in. Mia is really scary today. Mia's Witness. always scary, though. It's true. I notice. <laughs> Witness, you said that the only thing you stole was that note. Is this correct? No! Just so, stole? Why don't you listen more carefully, you annoying brat? I saved this piece of paper from the terrible lonely trash can, that's all. You're lying, damn it, and I can prove it! <laughs> Are you putting my credibility under scrutiny again? Yes! Miss Old Bag, I don't believe that the note is the only thing you stole that night. You stole the freaking camera! <laughs> and a wine glass! You stole his guitar, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> More than the witness's credibility, perhaps you should be worrying about your legal standing, or should I say, falling? Um. I'm setting the volume down so too low so I don't have to waste my time with your objections. Mmm, I never knew the judge had hearing aids. Ah! That's not the time to be wondering about health conditions! Okay, one more try. <laughs> I guess I could see the judge having hearing aids. Miss Oldbag, that note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? A camera? Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her camera. She kept saying something like, My sweetie $1600 camera disappeared on me! <laughs> why, why, witness? What is it, Gramps? If you have the note, then it is only logical that you have the camera, too. Ah, Looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? 
Ah, that's... What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a person, you know? I still eat meals like you, I still fall in love, and I borrow things from people! Uh... Um, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. I saw that woman's business card, and that's when I noticed it said, Swine bag, celebrity fee, photographer extraordinaire! That sounds like something that Goofy would become in yeah. one of the how-to cartoons. <laughs> well, when I saw that, I had to know what sort of picture she had taken. I'm a professional security guard. It's my business to know these things. Oh, right, but you don't keep track of your age. <laughs> Bailiff, check this camera's photos. Hurry. We must examine them at once. She's gonna have been like, whoops, I, I, I pushed it by mistake. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that, basically. Deleted it. Which, which episode is that? From I Phineas don't Pearl? know. I've been but dying one, to remember. The one where, like, it's like he gets foiled in like five seconds. Yeah. Like, oh, hurry the platypus out, how are you doing? And, and, like, and I was young, I was fat, so this made me do like this. And, oh, I pushed it by mistake. <laughs> and like, well, don't push this, that's the short button. Oops, I pushed it by mistake. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that one is. In, in the comments, please leave behind what episode oh my of Phineas that was. Yeah. I, I we can't very watch great. it, though, because it's all from the I don't episode. care, I still want to know. Mm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There is only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. Please present it to the court. Watch, it's going to be like there's several others. Th this is... This is the Nickel Samurai! See? I told you! That's the guy I saw! This proves that the witness was not lying earlier about this matter. Lada's photo added to the court okay, record. Why does Lada always have a photo added to the court record in every case she's in? Lada's like, whoops, I cut off the head! Whoops, I only have this photo of night sky in the mist! Whoops, why don't I have a color photographer? Uh, camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoops, I put my camera to have it set to sneezing volume. <laughs> Candace, this is just your thumb on the lens. <laughs> well, what does this all mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photo by itself does not prove that the person in it is the defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. Ongard clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his Nickel Samurai costume. If that is the case, then this Nickel Samurai is... What if they made a second one? The defendant. People can make costumes. Especially his manager. Have you ever been to Charlotte? Comic Con? There's lots of I have of not, but I still know I about cosplaying. I actually really want to go to more. more than Comic Con, I'd rather go to like PAX. PAX? Which is literally just Comic Con, but only games. Oh, that would be cool. I'd want to go to E3. No. Why not? I'm not driving in California. Oh, but <laughs> California E3 traffic. is so cool, and they give out like free Kirby stickers and stuff. I'm not buying, spending hundreds of dollars on a plane it's ticket not... and driving okay, over yeah. there just to get a free flying, Kirby flying there, <laughs> flying there will cost money, but it'd be cool. What if you were I would admit it would, but I don't want to drive anywhere near L.A. traffic. Oh, yeah. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We've examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? The court will consider them before we close. Do you agree that this photo is decisive evidence against your client? If this photo really is decisive, then we're done for. But if I raise an objection here and blow it, then I could put Maya's life in jeopardy. I can't make a mistake here. There's only one road out of this mess. This photo that Lotta took, there's nothing strange with it, something strange with it. There's gotta be something strange with it. I mean, if we say nothing, then... Then it's game over, basically. There's nothing strange with this photo. Hmm. <laughs> I have done nothing to alter this picture either, in case you are wondering, right? Good to know. I see, and it seems the defense will rest on this matter. In that case, there's no reason to further prolong this trial. Cue Mia. Yep. Is this really all right with you, Phoenix? W well, there's nothing wrong with this photo that I can point. Try again. Take another good look at it. And if you still don't see anything, do something, anything to prolong the trial. Y yes, Chief. Wait, Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Wright? I'm about to enter my verdict. Please address me with your comment afterwards. Um, no, I'm sorry, but this can't wait. Oh, let me guess. You're going to point out some peculiarity with this photo. W what? Why didn't you say so earlier? There's... There's something real strange with this photo. I knew this was coming, right? Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? I think we can all agree there is nothing strange with this photo. There's no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. 
debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're planning to do, Mr. Right? Um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. If you really believe you can honestly find something wrong with this photo, then you should only need one chance, correct? Um, well... I have to find something wrong with this photo. I can't let this chance go by. Where in the heck did she take this picture anyway? It's all out of focus. Why can't she take a good shot, especially when it counts? Because it's Lada. Lada Basically. sucks at taking pictures. Which is strange why she's a photographer. Now then, let's hear your objection. What about this photo is strange? And check out that penalty, though. Okay. This is arguably actually... one of the toughest parts of the entire case. Oh. An entire game, by extension. Well, for starters, apparently the steel, sa uh, steel samurai. The nickel samurai doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> um, I mean, just long pants. This is also is a so, time where it would really help to be able to see the evidence. What is the photo supposed to be of? Is it supposed to be of it's, him leaving it's his nickel, room? It's the nickel him? samurai leaving one corridor's room. That can't be because there was a million teddy bears outside of it. He's in front of the teddy bears, that's why. Oh, Remember, on guard's room just had like the two stands of flowers. That's right. Okay. Um, is his foot limping a bit? No, that was no? the last case. Okay. Or the last no, steel samurai case. I'm, I need to get close here. Um, his costume is weird. How so? What's that like bullseye thing on the on right. the right shoulder? That's his bronze arm. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, there's the door. There's the door to the main hallway. There's a face. <laughs> So he looks like okay. His face makes him look okay, like Max Galactica. This doesn't make any sense by where Lada is taking the shot from. I think she's taking it from either Ongar's <laughs> room or the bathroom. One of two, because you don't see bathroom the bathroom. Bathroom is way sign. further down the hall. Okay. This has to be either in Ongar's room or like behind the flower stand. That was no one will see me behind this flower stand. I don't know how. Well, maybe maybe the Nickel Samurai did um, see Lada. I don't see the button. Um, it's because they're in his pants. Right. Um. <laughs> Literally inside in his, his pants. pants. <laughs> um. He has waves on his there's pants. There's nothing, there's nothing on the door that seems out of the ordinary. Well, there's no knob. That's kind of weird. But is no, it like a it's handle? a handle. It's a handle. It's okay. a handle. Um. Is there a note on his pants? <laughs> Where are you seeing? Right there. Here? See how there's like the there's the blackish part, and then there's like something sticking up out of the blackish part. That's no, that's a Is mountain. That just that's a snow. That's like a wave. Oh, that's a wave with I was like, like white maybe part. the suicide notes on there. Probably not. Then. Dang, this is harder than I thought it'd be. This uh, this is one of the two hardest parts of the case, I would say. Okay. This is another um, part where I literally no, presented randomly until I no got through plants it. are knocked over, which is interesting. Door shut. Left knife. There's literally no blood stains on him. Right. Well, I guess that is a little semi strange. He did stab is there the guy after hiding he was dead, behind though. a plant. No. Okay. Um. He's got an interesting, like, almost hoodie kind of belt around his waist. <laughs> it's basically a piece of rope that it, he uses it is as a belt. Basically, and he's like, it's my belt. <laughs> One of his, he's like doing this. He's like, here's my hand. I look like a T-Rex arm, and then his arms down. Like, who walks like that? I don't know. Um, he's got to hold his up his pants. <laughs> yeah. His mask is on. Okay. I still say he looks like Max Galactica. A little bit. It's the floopy hair. Max Galactica with a stink face. Sure. <laughs> Is it like, oh, it looks too big on the, this person, or like, oh, womenly arms or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not like quite arms. like that. Uh, <laughs> see, the dumb thing is, we also can't look at our evidence. That would really evidence. help, as a matter of fact. Because that's something I was like, I wonder. He doesn't have his special spear thing with him. Oh, that's true. He doesn't have that. Um. You want to try that one? Maybe, but what, what would you do? P put in his hand? And yeah, like, his hand that's we could try supposed that. to be holding it, but isn't. Okay. It's this person here, of course. You mean the Nickel Samurai? And what is wrong with that? 
At the time of the murder, Mr. Ongard was in his own room. Which means this Nickel Samurai is... If you think that's all it takes, you should reconsider your choice of occupation. <clears throat> I think it's about time you retired. Wow. Harsh. Hmm, it looks like there was no problem with this photo after all. The problem was with the brain of that lawyer, your honor. But wait! You are the one who let your last chance fly away from you, Mr. Wright. They're very annoying about that. Um, the entire hallway is completely barren, so... Everyone else was getting ready for, I'm like, talking the... about Miss Olbag here. Unless if she was behind... She could have been out of frame. Unless if she was behind Lada or something like that, yeah. It is weird there's just, like, a black, like, part over there. I wonder if it was, like, flowers or blah, 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 or something. What? What? This, like that, here? That thing there seems... Th that must be the flower stand that she's, like, yeah, standing the behind. Stand. Man, I'm, like, getting stumped by this. There's all It these, stumped me on my first There's all of these marks on the door, which is weird. Like, there's no people. No, those are just, like, panels. Yeah, and then no. that's, there's, that's That makes sense. People. But then there's, like, see these three little things over there? That's part of the flower. Wow. Oh. Man. It's really, it's really tough, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably just gonna be like, it's this. <laughs> it's the door. Is it? The strange fiend is somewhere around here. I think. Somewhere around here. I think. Uh, am I seeing something you all are not? Hmm, it looks like there was no problem with this photo. Alright. All. Back we go, I guess. Yeah, I will literally. Uh, you don't know. No, I don't know. Was I kind of on the right track or no? A little bit. Oh! But not for the reason you think. I would like to direct the court's attention to this one area right here. Well, what are you pointing to? His ankles? If you could see this person's ankle, that would be one thing. However, you can't. A and what does that mean? The nickel samurai in this photo could not have been Mr. Ongar. Because you can see his What, feet. what is the meaning the of this? Costume? I said that! I was like, oh, this seems like you can't see his feet. That's weird. At the very beginning. Yeah, but you didn't say we should press it there. I guess not. But I, that I, that seemed out of character, but like nothing was said, so. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I wonder if you would care to elaborate with actual facts, that is. Let's take a look at the, the Nickel Samurai's poster. Okay, but how tall is Ongar? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was like, oh, I wonder oh. if like the spear or like you can see his feet. Okay, I must not have heard the feet part. Sorry about that. That's okay. Please pay particular attention to the area around the bottom of the Hakama. His... his socks! You can see his socks! You can exactly! Socks. However, in this photo... The Nickel Samurai is clearly holding his Hakama up just to walk. There's only one explanation for this. The person inside this costume is clearly much shorter than the defendant. Could be old bag. I mean, it wouldn't be, but... <laughs> Alright, I think I've turned things around for myself this time. That's curious. Huh? What is? Edgeworth is unusually calm today. That's true. He's just letting the trial run itself as if he's only along for the ride. I mean... He kind of is. He kind of is! He was like, I will prosecute now that Von Karma has been shot. Along for the ride? What do you mean by that? I can only think that perhaps he doesn't feel under attack at all. He doesn't feel under attack? Then he's not taking any damage? No, his penalty meter's still full. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where does this leave us? If the person in this photo is not Matt on guard... Then everything the prosecution has tried to prove has become meaningless! He's just like, whatever. Hmm. I thought it would come to this. What?! Sure you did. Right. I have something I want to ask you. I think you have proven that the person inside this costume is not Matt Ongard. In that case, who is this a photo of? Who is the person wearing the Nickel Samurai costume? Don't stress out over this, Phoenix. It's very simple. What you should be focused on is Edgeworth's attitude, don't you think? Yeah. Why is he so calm? Mr. Wright, let's hear your thoughts. Who is the person in the photograph? I mean, 
I would think it would be a really cool twist if it was Maya. But it's not. <laughs> it like, was it wasn't. I know. You were with her until after he was arrested. <laughs> um, well, it can't be... Yeah, I mean... So it's not these two, obviously. Right. She's it's, dead. <laughs> okay, but if she was alive, that would be really interesting. That's true. That'd be really cool. Like, oh, the reason the suicide Could be note her. is gone is because she's actually alive. <laughs> If we say Matt Ongar doing its special dialogue, I that would be great. <laughs> Are you saying this is who you think was in the costume? Uh, um, well, I know there isn't a lot to back me up here, but. Sometimes I wonder about you. Did you just pick the first piece of evidence you see? I can't believe it. I didn't think you would mess up here of all places. Wow, that caught me off guard seeing me as. Staring right at us. <laughs> oh, now she's mad. Ah, and I really thought I had it. All right. Now then, would you care to try one more time? Holy cow! Mia looking right at me caught me very much off guard. I was You're like, like I, I actually was kind of a little freaked out there it for was a second. Edgeworth. Edgeworth was in the photo. So who do you actually think it was? I mean, I think it is Adrian Andrews. But it's true. It yeah. is. Uh, Adrian Andrews. If you want to know who that Nickel Samurai is, it is none other than this woman. And why would you say it was be Miss Andrews? What in the world points you to her? For starters, she's short. And she can freely move in and out of Mr. Ongard's room. Finally, she had dinner with Mr. Ongard that night. And how does that all add up? It means that it makes it very easy for her to get a certain item. A certain knife with Mr. Ongard's fingerprints all over it. The knife that was used as the murder weapon! Why don't you just say what it is you want, right? I have to do this now. This is my last chance to turn things around. The defense mentioned motions to indict Miss Adrian Andrews in the murder of Juan Corrida. It was Miss Andrews who tried to frame the defendant for the crime. Order! 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 It looks like this trial has hit a most unexpected development. Mr. Edgeworth! Yes, Your Honor? This court is issuing a subpoena for Miss Adrian Andrews. A verdict cannot be passed without first hearing her testimony. All right, this is it. This is kind of bad for us. Huh? What do you mean? If Adrian Andrews is summoned to the court as a witness, it means that the trial will go on for another day. One more day? Ah! If I don't get a verdict today, then Maya. Now then, we shall set Miss Adrian. We shall set Miss Andrews' testimony for tomorrow. What am I supposed to do? The judge is about to adjourn the court. Wait and see. <laughs> we can't wait and see, but obviously we're going Maya's to. Maya's gonna die. I have to do something. The trial must go on. But I don't have anything left. No evidence. No nothing. Now then, court will adjourn for to. <sighs> yep. Now then. Please, your honor, continue the trial. You must pass the verdict today. I can't do that. We cannot hear Miss Andrews' testimony. She's not... Hold it! She's probably here. I'm guessing that's her. Never mind. That's Edgeworth. I abhor wasting such valuable time. E Edgeworth? Your honor, I request that you please continue with today's trial. B but we cannot continue due to this unexpected development. Unexpected development? He's like, I knew we would need this. I think, <laughs> I think you underestimate me, Your Honor. And what do you mean by that? That Mr. Phoenix Wright would slave his way to subpoena subpoenaing Miss An Adrian Andrews is all happening according to plan, even if Wright is a bit slow to catch on. What? 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 <laughs> Meanwhile, Old Bag's like, can I go now? <laughs> what is the meaning of your statement, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Adrian Andrews is currently waiting in the prosecution lobby. She is the next witness. Everything, everything was planned out in advance by that man. Somehow I knew there was no way Edgeworth would overlook Miss Andrews. Looks like this battle is far from over. I wonder why he's doing all this anyway. Exactly. Unless if it's like, 
this dude was like Edgeworth's butler at, like when he was little. <laughs> Wait, no, no, the killer, the, the dude. What if it was like he knows Edgeworth and it's like, how about we do this amazing practical joke? <laughs> I don't know. That's going morbid, way too long. Morbid practical joke. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else this would work so well. Okay. And or if the judge, or if he's just like, I like to see people suffer, <laughs> but not have them actually die. Very well. We will call the next witness. However, before we proceed, we shall take a ten-minute recess. Please prepare your witness in that time, Mr. Edgeworth. The court will now take a ten-minute recess. To be continued. As you expected. They had yeah. two episodes for Old Bag. We're probably going to need at least two episodes for Andrew Adrian Andrews as well. Maybe three. maybe three. Well oh, three? She doesn't talk that much though. We oh you'll alive. see. Uh, okay. Maya shows up in court. <laughs> she did break out. She did break out. That could be interesting. So anyhow. The killer comes after us with a pistol in the middle of the courtroom. He's like, I will shoot the judge! <laughs> well, that would take an unexpected twist, wouldn't it? Thanks for spoiling. But what? It, <laughs> Did that you happen? Have, you haven't played this game, so no. Okay. <laughs> maybe, like, well, maybe. I was supposed to say, I'm like, does that happen? I'm just shooting my mouth off here. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to seeing you next time. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.